Hello everyone and welcome back to more Wild Arms with me, your host Rabbit. Where we left off in the previous video, we spoke with the chieftain of Baskar Village who talked to us a little bit about some west wind force or power known as Zephyr and how we are the callers of this Zephyr. So we tried to go to the north part of the village and summon this force, but for whatever reason Zephyr didn't respond, so now we are exploring Mount Zenum to maybe do something with the guardian statues. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to accomplish, but we're going to find out together. So let's go ahead and get started. And I realized that I probably sounded a lot like I was whispering in the last episode. So I do apologize for being kind of quiet, but as you guys do know, I get up and I like to record between like 5 and 7 a.m. So my husband is sleeping in the next room, so I try to be a little bit quiet, but I have adjusted my mic. So hopefully you can hear me a little bit more without me having to actually raise my voice and disturb him in the room adjacent to this one. So anyway, Jack and Rudy are affected by, oh my gosh, that is not what I meant to do, are affected by some sort of status, ailments, and I don't know what the hell that red one is, and I wonder if this will tell us, no, it does not. Well, I'm going to guess it's it's not paralysis, is it? No. Oh, but at least you don't... Oh, my God. At least you don't waste it. Maybe bad omen? Uh, guys, what the hell is this? Confusion? Ah, confusion. So that's what that looks like. I, I don't quite get that symbol and how that means confusion, but whatever, I will go with it. I mean, we have no choice, so... Anyway, let's keep looking, and already we found some relatively useful stuff here. We found an item that lowers the consumption use of Jack's spells, so that's really nice. It took down one magic point, or in whatever you wanted to put it into, but I chose to put it into like his sonic blast or sonic wave, sonic force, whatever it's called. So I think that's a really useful item, and I hope we come across quite a few more. I really do like the addition of that a lot. And I am not gonna fuck around with these stupid things. Because they will fuck us up. I think it was the hobgoblin that cast something that ended up afflicting Jack and Rudy. I'd have to go back to really pay attention to what's going on. Uh, let's light you on fire. Nothing. All right. Looks like nothing's in these. I guess they're just blocking the way. I can't even imagine. What if we find another crest grab? I already feel like we have way more than we need. We have like three. I mean, obviously, we could always use more, but I was pleasantly surprised when we... Uh, Sonic Buster. That's what it's called, guys. Um, but let me just go ahead and attack all of them. But yeah, I know we'll need a lot of crest graphs because there are a lot of spells out there. But I, I just, it's so cool. I, I love the magic system in this game. I've gushed about this in a previous episode together with you guys. But I don't know, I just enjoy the fact that although there is a full array of spells for you to select from right from the start, it's like you have to be discriminate about what you take until you do amass enough crest graphs to really just have whatever you want. So I like that. I think it was a nice addition and more levels for everyone. And let's keep going. I hope you guys can hear me better in this episode than I imagine you could hear me in the other one. It really is a struggle though to record early in the morning because I just don't like disturbing him. He likes to sleep a lot later than I tend to, which is fine, you know, I don't mind, but it makes it difficult for me because I like to get a lot of my stuff done in the mornings, and he's somewhat of a light sleeper, so I think, I think we just need thicker walls, but what can you do when you are still poor university students and renting apartments? Someday, though, I hope we'll have a house, but part of our problem is we're not sure, oh no, that 
bridge is gone. Part of our problem is we're not really sure where we will want to end up. And I know when he is done, not this upcoming May, but next May, so it'll be May 2015, we are going to, mm, actually let me, damn it, I don't really want to fuck around with these things. But we will go ahead and do it anyway, and I will take this opportunity to just blast people. But I know May 2015, both of us are going to have to begin looking at doctoral programs, and so we have no idea where we're going to end up. And for his program in particular, he is wanting to do something that I think we're going to have to leave the States for him to really explore fully. I know the UK is much more open or has a much wider array of jobs and internship opportunities in like archaeology and anthropology. Although I know those are majors in the States, I don't think they're as appreciated here as in the UK. And I know there's a good program in a couple places in Canada. So Andrew is already kind of, oh my god. Oh no, these are going to explode. Okay, I have got to use hand pan because I'm going to fuck my shit up. And that would not be good at all. And it just occurred to me that the gold ones are the exploding ones, guys. How slow and lame am I? It's okay. I know I'm pretty fucking lame. But anyway, so we might even be moving to, I think it was in Toronto, one of the schools he was looking at. So I have no fucking clue where we're going to end up. But I'm a pretty adventurous person, so I am down for whatever. How about you guys? Would you be willing to leave your country to go somewhere else? I know a couple of my friends are like, oh my god, I would not do that. But I almost feel like my family's already very international. We just move a lot. And oh wow, can we really not go back up there? Holy shit, what is going on? Woo, that was close. I couldn't control my body for a second. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. If we hit one of the, those rocks, we're goners. So if I use my sword from higher up, it will always do more damage? Well, I wouldn't say always, but it wouldn't hurt. Maybe it's worth a try. Hey, we got another hint. So I wonder... I, I don't know. How would they want us to actually do that? Um... If he's higher up, the wind hint was definitely more in your face, that's for sure. And I want to try fighting maybe on those stairs or out here to see what I come up with. Um, so I won't make you guys watch me do this, be right back. Well, using it in this mundane setting did not work, so I'm not sure if I have to do it on the stairs at an angle or what that is all about. But I'll only try it one more time, if we can even enter a battle. But this doesn't change the terrain. I'm, well, whatever, we'll worry about it later. But I was starting to say that we're not at a slope or steep incline there, so I guess, I guess we'll figure out where's an advantageous spot to try using it, because it definitely wasn't out there, and I have no idea. It just said something about rocks, and holy shit! Well, never mind, guys. We got it sorted out. I just cast it in here, and it's called Meteor Dive. I'm not sure <laughs> what is required, but Jack just jumped in the air and then smashed on them. So I guess we're supposed to be in a cave for this extra be maximized, and this one is most maximized outside. I don't know. I guess that's how it works. And Psycho Crack, I guess, when you having a drug binge that's when you'll be able to use that the best I'm not sure how that one works either but anyway I just thought I'd let you know and now I'm all out of magic so I will not be able to show you what it looks like but we've probably exhausted all of the battles that we need to see together for this video so for sure though you guys will get a glimpse of it I will not let it go unseen by you so I am terrible, and poor Cecilia died. Again, I don't know why I don't pay attention to her health points. That is like the third time I've let this happen to her. 
I'm so sorry, Cecilia. Please forgive me. <clears throat> Alright, but I will for sure be watching her health. Ooh. I figured something would eventually be hidden in there. In one of those stupid, like, leaf piles or hay bales or whatever the fuck those are supposed to be. But I think we're pretty close to the end, guys. So this place wasn't too bad. It was a pretty straight shot, which I like. Oh my gosh. What? I'm gonna just regular wallop this thing and then analyze it. Whoa! Guys, it's like a fucking stegosaurus. Holy shit, though. It does a lot of damage. Okay, Devanova. It's level 17. Wow, it has a lot of HP. And its weakness is water. I don't think Cecilia has a water attack, does she? I, I really don't think so. I guess I can go ahead and show you guys Meteor Dive, which... Oh, also takes only 6 MP. So you'll get to see our new spell there. And I might... Oh, I can't use Mystic yet. But I do not have a water spell. But I probably should make sure that we get one next time. Yeah, that will probably be a good idea. And I don't really want to cast Valkyrie. I don't want to use all of her magic, but I guess it doesn't matter. We've got plenty of magic carrots. I've already used one on Jack. So, if need be, Cecilia will just get to eat one too. That is a crazy looking monster. Oh my god, stop hitting Cecilia, please. Okay, I can't fuck around. Um, whatever, Jack, just physically attack him. He's almost dead. Actually, I'll use Mystic and... I'm pretty sure the Heal Berry will heal all of us. Might as well. I just hope he doesn't hit Cecilia before... Okay. Woo! Because if she died again, guys, <laughs> that would be really bad. But all right. So Cecilia has a little bit of health, and I have so many fucking heal berries. I probably should start selling some of them. 500 Gela, wow. I wonder if that's like a common monster to find, or what the deal with that is. Either way, that was pretty cool. Oh. And we have two options for entrances. Uh, I'm not sure which we should take. I might go back into the other one, since this one looks a little bit vast. I've been thinking a lot that I really do like how Mystic works. I think that's also a really interesting... Oh, this is definitely where we're supposed to go. We'll come right back here then. Let's go back over here. But anyway, I think it's a really interesting spell mechanic. The Force thing in general I, I like quite a lot anyway. But, oh, it's a save. So maybe this is where we're supposed to go. Oh my gosh. I don't know, guys. I'm going to save, and we'll advance forward here and see what's in there. And if we're getting ready to start something, I will just, like, pause the camera and reload, and we'll go back because I am not trying to finish the game yet. Ah, and we're still going north, so we probably do have to go back over there. Okay, I'll bring you guys back in just a sec. Alrighty, welcome back everyone, and <laughs> as soon as you join me, then we enter a battle. But that's okay, um, we'll take these guys out pretty quickly, and I also realized that I didn't ever go back and talk to you guys about suction, even though I did end up checking it out, and quite a few of you on the episode where I was like, how does this fucking spell work, did PM me, or you left me comments describing it, and I do want to just thank you guys for that, because I really do appreciate when you update me on things that I may not know, and I had by that time that I uploaded this, uh, or that episode anyway, I had looked it up and seen it, but I really appreciate all of your feedback, and it's really helpful, and you guys have explained things to me, oftentimes in a much better way than what I've seen on like forums or in guides, so I really do appreciate your input, and I think that it's really nice of you to take the time to let me know and explain things so thoroughly, so thank you. So for any of you who had not re... 
<laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> so for any of you who had not read, I was gonna say, for any of you who have not read, mystic word, oh, that's weird. Uh, so those of you who haven't read the magic books for the left hand, I wonder if that's for Cecilia. The comments that were left, oh, yes it is, about suction, basically how it works is that it is a passive or assist magical ability or magical spell. So you cast it on one of your party members and basically when an enemy casts a magic spell, you will, I guess, kind of like soak their magic damage and it will then manifest itself as magic for you. So I think the title is misleading. Suction, in my opinion, suggests that you're going to be actively drawing magic out of someone or something, but it makes sense now, I guess. So yeah, I just wanted to explain to you guys because I know that was confusing for me and I'm not sure if you guys saw the comments that explained that. So I'm going to go ahead and save again since I already took the time to run back there and get a new accessory for, or I guess it's equipment since it's in her hand, maybe it's an accessory, whatever, I got a new item for Cecilia. So we will actually end this video here since we are about up on time, but when we do come back together in the next episode, we're going to continue exploring Mount Zenum and hopefully figure out what it is that we need to do to get the Zephyr to respond to us back in Baskar Village. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I'm Rabbit and I'll see you in just a sec.